Hi guys, I recently bought this Lenovo ThinkPad T440p and today we'll be improving it on a budget. I won this laptop at auction for 210 Australian dollars on eBay, so about 135 US dollars. The parts I'll be using to upgrade the laptop are an i7 4700MQ, which I got for 66 Australian dollars, and the SSD I'll be using is a crucial 240 gig SSD, which was 55 Australian dollars. Let's start the process by first unscrewing the first screw on the right side of the laptop. Then the left screw. Then removing the battery by sliding the two switches. And now you can slide the cover off the back of the laptop. We'll then undo the one screw that is holding the hard drive caddy in. Once this is done, pull up the hard drive caddy and disconnect the hard drive. This laptop has a 500 gig Seagate SSD installed in it. This is the SSD we're using to replace it. To take the caddy apart, you unsnap the case enclosure around the hard drive. Then we now snap that into the SSD. Once that's snapped back in, we now reinstall the hard drive caddy back into the laptop. And then it's a matter of just reinserting that screw. There are four screws next to the CPU that are used to take the cooler off. We'll start by undoing these. And we'll undo these in a crisscross pattern to prevent strain on the CPU. Once this is done, we can lift it out and then unplug the fan screw. Looking at the fan, it's quite dirty, so we'll clean that. We'll now change bits to a driver to undo the CPU socket. And then we'll remove the CPU. And now we'll grab our new CPU and install it into the computer. We will make note of the notch to make sure we're installing in the right direction. I have gone and cleaned out the fan, so now it's clean. The next step will be cleaning the laptop with rubbing alcohol to make sure that nothing interferes with the thermal paste we're about to install. This process is pretty simple, it just involves spraying the CPU and the CPU cooler with rubbing alcohol and using a cotton bud to clean each component. Make sure you do a fire job of this as we don't want anything to interfere with the thermal paste.
We now grab our thermal paste, which in this case we're using Arctic Silver Ceramic 2 Thermal Compound. We just apply a pea-sized blob on the CPU die and spread it around on the die. I don't recommend using your hand, but it was the only thing I had at the time. We'll just clean up all the stuff that overflew the die. We now reinstall the CPU cooler, which is pretty simple. It's just a matter of putting it back into place. Plug in the fan cable over here. Which is a pain at times. We then reroute it under the sticker. Then we reinstall all four screws in a star motion to make sure that we don't over tighten one at one time. Once those are tight, we then grab the back case and reinsert it onto the laptop. This just slides back into place. And once that's done, and once that's done, we can reinsert the two screws on the back of the laptop. We'll then reinsert the battery and that's complete. We can now insert the power cord and test the laptop. We'll go into the BIOS to check both the CPU and the SSD. Yep, and here we can see that the CPU is upgraded successfully. And now we'll go and check the SSD. Yep, and then there's the SSD showing successfully the BX500. So overall, this simple $120 upgrade doubled the performance of the laptop and gave us a much faster storage device. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll try and answer them. And also like the video and subscribe for more content.